Hey Northwood, how's it going? Hope you haven't had it too bad with allergies. Spring is great and all, but seriously, allergies. But NTV is here to end your school week on a good note. We're going to start off talking about a ridiculous NFL-style prom draft happening at Corona Del Mar High School. Female students are being ranked publicly, which is outrageous already, but they're even selling first-round picks to those girls eager for a top selection. A student reports that junior and senior boys, once the draft has been made, can draw random numbers for the draft, but they can purchase more desirable picks if they please. One student paid $140 so he could select a specific girl. School authorities are beginning to take disciplinary action, saying that it is not okay for any student to be objectified or judged in any way. And I I completely agree. The Orange County District Attorney has even been asked to investigate. Well, moving on to something a bit more lighthearted, you get to sip coffee, eat delicious pastries, and listen to beautiful singing and poetry. That already sounds amazing, but this is a chance to de-stress after all those AP tests. Go and support Northwood's budding artists at our coffee house happening on May 15, 7 p.m. at the courtyard right behind the sack. While we're on the subject of artistes, some of our very own Northwood musicians are going to be for performing in the Pacific Symphony Youth Orchestra this Sunday at Segerstrom Hall. I know it's a bit of a drive, but especially if you love classical music, this is a golden opportunity. Also, shout out to the NHS Speech and Debate team. They've had a great year and are wrapping everything up in a final showcase May 21st in our school theater. They're going to be presenting this year's best speech and debates and if that's not enough, there's going to be free food and drinks, so make sure you're there. Finally, a huge congratulations to everyone who participated in Scapino. You guys put in so much time, effort, and love into this play, and it was beyond amazing. It was beautiful. Seriously, props to you guys. The Night of All High School Nights, prom. Yeah, I understand that prom is a typical movie cliche of a perfect night, but ASB is going to make this awesome. Trust me, you're going to want to be there. If you're not convinced yet, here's a small promo we prepared for you. Continuing with the prom theme, it's every girl's dream to have that perfect prom outfit, a pretty dress, gorgeous jewelry, and it's so exciting to get your hair and makeup done. But there are some girls who can't reach that dream. Let's go check out how a club right here on campus called Prom Project works to provide for these girls and make sure their dreams come true. So, I've heard our sports are doing really well this spring season. Let's toss it over to our sports anchors. Finally, if you have anything you want to see featured or mentioned on NTV, shoot us a message on our Facebook page and we'll try our very, very best to get it on the show. Anyway, it's that time already, Northwood. Time to bring this show to a close for now. But don't worry, we promise to be back next Friday. See you then. Hey there, Northwood. Welcome back to your weekly dose of quality Friday morning NTV with me, your host, Karen Yang. It's always good to see you guys. The month of May is finally here, and from the looks of it, it's going to be a pretty busy one. AKA, good luck AP students, because testing kick starts next Monday and runs for two whole crazy weeks. However, as stressful as this month may be, it's also full of tons of exciting news. For instance, just last night, our very own Northwood Philharmonic Ensemble had the complete honor of performing at the prestigious Segerstrom Concert Hall. I think it goes without saying that our performing arts program is off the charts. If you're looking to see one of their upcoming performances, check out Jazz at the Oak. It's a free show on May 16th at Northwood with an In-N-Out food truck. I mean, what more could you ask for? Other than, of course, the year's most anticipated dance, prom. Now, You've probably been wondering, just where will this year's prom be? Well, I've got you covered. Starting next week, prom tickets will be on sale for $70 with an ID and $75 without. You all know the drill prices will go up after a week, so grab your lovely date and buy your tickets ASAP. It's going to be a great night. In other completely irrelevant news, have you ever wondered what happens to recycled foam? Probably not, but I'm going to show you anyway. Next up, a reminder for all you outstanding Charter Oak Award recipients. There is a mandatory ceremony rehearsal next Tuesday during tutorial in the theater. We just want to make sure that award night goes smoothly so we can focus on honoring your incredible achievements. So make sure to go. With that, it's time to see what our favorite sport anchors have in store for us. Sounds like spring season is going strong. 
Well, that's all I have for you today, Timberwolves, but as usual, I'm Karen Yang, this is NTV, and I will see you next time. Have a good weekend, Northwood. Good morning, Northwood, and welcome to NTV. I'm your host, Dylan Huynh, and on and off campus, there is one job that requires endless amount of effort, dedication, and hard work. Sunrise to sundown, hotter and colder days, they're always there for their sons and daughters. Have a wonderful Mother's Day, moms. And speaking of endless amount of dedication, AP testing is here, and there, those who are taking and preparing for their tests, make sure to get enough sleep, a healthy breakfast, and make sure to study, 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 <laughs> because I know every one of you are going to be great, and we're rooting for you. Now, our second semester finals are just around the corner, so be sure to prep up and study hard to get that A. Finals will be held on June 25th, 24th, and on the 25th. I believe in you. <laughs> Ticket sales well, for the Dance Theater Spring Concert, You Are Here, are starting now. Shows will be on May 29th to 23rd, the 30th. Pre-sale tickets are $10 and all, show, all seats are, will be reserved. So make sure to buy your tickets soon and support Northwood's Dance Theater. Not only that, our very own drama department is holding a coffee house for those who want to participate. Coffee house auditions will be held Thursday, May 8th from 4 to 7 in the drama room. Coffee house will be an open mic event where anyone can display their talents singing or dancing. Everyone is welcome to audition for this part of the talent show, and don't miss your chance. It will be amazing. Speaking of wonderful events, prom is coming soon. The theme is Journey to Atlantis, so don't forget to buy your tickets. They are $30, $65 at the SAC, and be sure to come. It's going to be a night to remember. Northwood will, will help, is held a wonderful play called Scapino, and for those who participated, a mighty huzzah! for you doing an amazing job. Let's take a look at what happened in this wonderful play. Thanks, Fabio. Now on to NTV Sports. Head it, Estefan. Thanks, Estefan. Now tune in to NTV next week. Goodbye, Northwood, and I'll see you soon. Hey, Northwood. My name is Bailey Beck, and this is your weekly episode of NTV. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday morning and a wonderful start to a new month. May is here, and that means a lot of new and exciting events happening on campus. Northwood High School Athletics are proud to announce their annual Summer Skills Camp programs. This is a camp that welcomes all athletics. It's free, and it will be a great experience for each athletic to teach skills in their sport along with proper techniques and conditioning. Students may bring their check or cash to the sack during break or lunch, so be sure to check that out. Speaking of, of athletics, we, can forget, we can't forget dance. On May 29th and May 30th, Dance Theater is having their spring concert. If you haven't attended a show yet, now is the chance to see what it is that makes our dance program so amazing. You can buy tickets for $10 at the SAC. If you have saved May 15th for one of those forever alone days where you sit at your computer on Pinterest, think again. Northwoods Drama Club is holding a coffee house night. This is a great opportunity for you to meet some new friends and watch many Northwood students show off their talents. Everyone is welcome and I'll be there for sure, so make sure you save the date. Another great opportunity for you to meet, to meet some new friends is prom, or otherwise known as the best night of our lives. The theme is Journey to Atlantis, so don't forget to buy your tickets at the SAC and bring that special someone or a group of friends because it's going to be a night we won't forget. Last week, Northwood held our wonderful Arts Festival. Thanks so much to all the students and teachers who came out and volunteered their time. Along with the amazing paintings, pictures, and musicians who showed their talents. My favorite part was improv. Improv theater is so creative and so hilarious. But if you don't take my word for it, take a look for yourself. Now here's Feline with NTV Sports. Well, that's all we have for you today, Northwood. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of NTV, and I also hope you all have an amazing weekend. Happy Friday, Northwood. This is your host, Sabrina Chang. First, let's start off with David Choi in Irvine. Yep, that's it. You heard me. David Choi will be performing at University High School as a benefit concert for cerebral palsy. Yeah, I know. Why is it at Northwood? Why not Northwood? Well, even though he'll be at our academic rival school, you guys should all still come watch him perform on June 1st at 5 p.m. 
Tickets are $25, but it's for a good cause. A big welcome back for the Northwood speech and debate team from a rigorous weekend at the state tournament all the way in Modesto. You guys did great representing Northwood. If any of you are interested in joining speech and debate, there will be a showcase held in the theater on May 21st at 7 p.m. Be sure to stop by and check it out. Spring conferences are next week, so if you haven't already, get all the signatures for the classes you want and enroll in on the course requesters and schedule a conference with your TA teacher. Next, on to something much talked about on the Northwood campus, from. The theme is Journey to Atlantis, and this year, Northwood ASB is hosting a promposal contest. So all you fellas looking out there for a special date, make sure your prom asking is unique and creative and maybe slightly embarrassing, and hashtag it TWOLFPROM2014. And you may win a front of the line pass to all the vendors on prom night. Now, seeing all of you guys wearing pajamas to school reminds me that it's AP testing week. Good luck to all you sophomores, juniors, and seniors taking AP tests this week. You'll do great. The Dance Department's Spring Concert You Are Here is coming up on May 29th and 30th. Take a trip around the world with Northwood's very own dance program. The show starts at 7 p.m. and pre-sale tickets are available now at the box office for $10. Make sure you get your tickets soon before prices go up to $12 on May 26th. Linker leaders have been interviewed and chosen for the 2014 school year, and last week they had their first experience interacting with the incoming freshmen. Let's go check out how 8th grade family night went. Next, let's get updated on Northwood sports are doing. Last reminder to you all, Mother's Day is this Sunday, so don't forget to kiss your mom and tell her how much you love her. You can thank me later for reminding you. That's it, Northwood. See you next week. What's up, Northwood? And welcome to your favorite segment of NTV, sports. Sadly, there are only five episodes of NTV left, and spring sports are quickly coming to a close. But before the season is over, come check out one of the last games of the week. Boys baseball versus CDM for the title of league champion. It's bound to be a nail biter. And let's all give a huge shout out to those amazing athletes who have committed to playing college sports. You guys are warriors and Northwood is so proud of you. Senior Bethan Knights has been at her best this entire year and has been undefeated in her senior season, fall season of cross country, leading the girls varsity team to the title of league champion. She has also recently tied for first place at Nationals in the 3200 meter race against previously undefeated champion Sarah Baxter of Simi Valley. Give her a huge congratulations when you see her on campus. Bethan has committed to running cross country at UC Berkeley, where they are extremely lucky to have her. Now, let's take a look at some of the last sports scores of the year. Softball had a close win against CDM last Monday with an overall record of 4-3. Congrats to boys tennis who qualified for CIF with their win against San Clemente this Tuesday. Also, a massive congratulations to girls track, who placed number one in the league for the first time ever. Awesome job, girls. Our boys swim team has also had an amazing season so far, having beaten Woodbridge, Beckman, and Irvine. Best of luck to them at their varsity CIF finals this Friday at Irvine High. And finally, girls lacrosse ended their season with an amazing win in their senior game against Rosary with a score of nine to four. And with that, have a hopefully not too stressful AP testing week. And don't forget about that super late start on Friday to look forward to. I'm Jeanette, and this has been NTV Sports, aka the best segment on NTV. Back to you, Evan and Nicole. Hello, Evan. I'm Jeanette. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, I know that you've been in Northwood soccer for four years. What are some aspects of Northwood soccer that have made you want to stay here for four years? I think um, more than even just Northwood soccer, I've loved uh, soccer in general my, my whole life. So it's, it's something that was a real passion of mine. And then um, getting to do it in high school again was like getting to come back from club and to be with all your friends that you've grown up with and that you used to play on teams with way back when. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to be able to play with people that you um, hadn't gotten to be on a team with for a long time. So I, I think that was probably what helped me uh, want to keep coming back for North of Tucker. It was a lot of fun. And I know that you're captain this year as well. Mm -hmm. What was it like to be a leader among your peers and your friends who are like all around the same age as you too? It was, um, it was really exciting for me. It was a, I took it as a real honor and I, I was really um, proud of that and I, I saw it as a good accomplishment and I wanted to be able to, um, I wanted to take the opportunity to, to create a team that had a, a drive to want to succeed and to want to keep working for each other even when things got tough, yet uh, that we could still have fun and that it was a light enough environment where people enjoyed coming to practice every day because it, it's a long season and people can get tired of it if you're not having a fun time. So I think that's also an important aspect, something I wanted to uh, help instill at being mm -hmm. a captain. And because you were on a team with all your friends and everything, there's bound to be some great memories. So what do you think are some of like your best team bonding experience or team dinners? I think, yeah, I think, as you said, team dinners are definitely um, some of the most fun times. We, uh, 
we'd have like eating contests with all this pizza and stuff. And it, it seems a little counterintuitive that you're having a game the next day, yeah. but you're eating just massive amounts of pizza. But it, it's honestly the most fun time. Yeah. Just to be there with all your friends. Carbs too. Yeah. yeah. Play a bunch of FIFA and just like have a good time. Yeah, you're all like bonding, making fun of each other, and it, it really helps the team just kind of come together. And as it's your last year of high school, last year of playing soccer in high school, what is one of like the highlights of your senior year that has stood out for you the most? Highlights of my senior year, um, definitely that I was, uh, that being named captain was like kind of the first main highlight. And then at the end of the year, I was um, fortunate enough to be named to uh, second team all league. So wow, I, I, was, I was really happy about that. Huge and that was, honor, yeah, yeah, that was really cool for me because Definitely, as I was younger, I, I wasn't that good of a player. I was kind of like mm -hmm. one of the, uh, probably one of the less talented ones on the team. But then as I progressed, I, I kept working at it and sticking around and just doing what was needed. So it, it was nice to be recognized in that way. Congratulations on your senior year. Thank you. Congratulations on being captain. Thank you so much for joining me here. And thank you. Thank you for your thank time. You. Buenos dias, Northwood. I'm Lucy Bowers, and welcome to another edition of NTV Sports. It may not even be a holiday in Mexico, but Monday was Cinco de Mayo, and we Americans celebrated with some amazing wins this past week. Congratulations to Girls Track for winning league and burning the bridge twice overall. Shout out to senior Bethan Knights, who contributed amazing times, and oh yeah, a national record to lead the team. Congrats on nothing short of a perfect season, Bethan. One, two, three strikes and Uni was out at the old Northwood ball game, losing 7-3 to our stellar baseball team. GLAX, also known as Girls Lacrosse, beat Rosary 8-5, and Boys Volleyball won in a good match against Irvine 25-18. Man, all these scores make me want to watch another game, and hallelujah, looks like the game of the week is next Tuesday at 4 p.m., where girls softball will take on Irvine. As the saying goes, be there or be square. Northwood fam, listen up. I'm Lucy, and here I got Evan Swordfigure, a soccer player. Hello, Evan. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. Thanks for having me on. So first things first, what position do you play and why? I play center back, and I've kind of played center back my, um, my whole soccer career. When I, was, when I was younger, I was always kind of one of the bigger players out there, and I was um, not always as, as skilled on the ball as some other people, so they would just kind of stick me in the back, and I was a, I was a big body that could uh, kind of take care of business back there, I guess. You must be hardcore then. Eh, not not really hardcore, but I guess on the field, people uh, sometimes <laughs> say that I get I'm I'm a lot different when I'm on the field than when I'm off. Yeah. So, what's your favorite part of the game? Um, I think the favorite part of the game for me is that there's always some kind of action going on, and that uh, you're constantly running, moving, having to think about what's happening next. Um, when I was little, I used to play a lot of different sports, and I found that uh, more so than baseball and some other sports that I used to play, soccer to me always had action going on. So mm -hmm. I, that's why I liked it the most, and that's why I stuck with it. That's definitely true. <laughs> so if you could describe this past season in one word, what would it be? I would say it was a lot of fun. Um, I, was on, I was lucky enough to be on varsity for the last three years of, uh, of my high school career. And the first two that I was on it, we weren't very successful and we didn't really have a very good time doing it. Um, we would run a lot and people weren't really happy to be there. But for the last season, we had a new coach and there was kind of a whole new philosophy and energy to the team. So it was a lot more fun. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. And Wonderful season, I'm sure. I'm Lucy Bowers, and this is Evan Swordfigure. Thank you. Hey, Northwood. I'm JJ Metter, and this is NTV Sports. I know you're all as, as excited as I am for the game of the week, so come on out and support girls softball as they take on Irvine High School. I hope to see you all there. Special recognition to Jason Lee for committing to the prestigious Air Force Academy for water polo, and congratulations to all the seniors who will be competing on the next level. Now on to scores. Boys Varsity Swim lost grip of a close battle with CDM this week, but JV and Open pulled out the victory. Boys Varsity Lacrosse finished off their season strong with a come from behind 9-7 victory over Sage Hill on their own turf. And last but not least, Boys Golf closed off their season with a team round of 188, but couldn't quite pull off the win at league. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on next week's edition of MTV Sports. So what sports do you play here at Northwood? I play soccer and lacrosse. Which one do you commit more time to and do you like a little bit more? Um, before high school I committed more time to soccer but now I commit more time to lacrosse. What is your favorite aspect of lacrosse on the high school level rather than the club level? I think it's probably teaching the um, new players how to play since it's an entirely new sport to Northwood. Yeah, and it's a fun sport too from what I understand. Is this your third season or second season in the sport or how many years have you been playing before high school? Um, this is my third year, but I started in eighth grade. 
And have you still been playing soccer too and you're going to continue on with both sports your senior season? Yes, I'm going to continue just in high school, but not outside of school. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> What's up, Two Wolf Nation? Once again, welcome to today's episode of NTV Sports. We're glad to be back and hope everyone had a nice four-day weekend. Our winter athletes are kicking off their season strong, bringing home several Timberwolf wins this week. Girls soccer came out with a victory against Woodbridge in the game of the week on Tuesday. The game started off slow with a 0-0 tie, but the ladies kicked it up and scored two goals in the second half. For newcomer Ashley Rusky, this season on Northwood's soccer team will be her first. As a freshman, a brand new team, coach, and atmosphere can be intimidating. But so far, Ashley has been doing great with a spot as a defender on the team. We look forward to seeing how she does in her upcoming accomplishments with the team. Boys basketball had success against Woodbridge on Tuesday in a close game, finishing with a score of 72-68, to bringing their record to 1-0. Moving to the pool, girls water polo also had a win, beating Irvine 6-2 on Wednesday, Leaving Northwood undefeated for the week, boys soccer tied 1-1 to -1 in an exciting game against Irvine on Monday. Congratulations to all of our winter sports for their results this week, and good luck to all athletes in our upcoming season. We look forward to hearing about your success. Well, that's all we have for you today, Northwood. This has been NTV Sports, and we'll see you next week. So Grace, how long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer for nine years. Okay, so you play for Northwood and outside of school? Yeah, but I quit outside of school once I entered high school. Okay. What's been your favorite part about playing here at Northwood? I think my favorite part was probably like my teammates mm -hmm. and just like the camaraderie on yeah. the team. Um, do you also find like there to be some challenges playing here at school? Definitely girls who don't cooperate or don't have the same passion. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of brings down like the whole unity of the team. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to most about this season? This season, I think, is probably improving my soccer skills and finally beating CDS. <laughs> Thank you. We look forward to hearing about your success this season. Thanks. 